find the antiderivative of 11 cosine x plus 3 secant squared x dx. So uh, to integrate this, what we would need to do is potentially make it a little bit easier just by splitting things up. So we can always split up about this uh, added set of terms in the, in the antiderivative. And any constant multipliers can come out. So let's write this as 11 times the integral of cosine x dx plus 3 times the integral of secant squared x dx. Now, both of these are just simply rules to have memorized. So for instance, we know that the derivative with respect to x of sine x is cosine x. So going the other direction, we can say that the antiderivative of cosine is sine. So that makes the first part pretty easy. This would just be 11 sine x, and that's it. Now, the derivative of cosine, if you'll recall, that was a negative value. Here, the antiderivative of cosine is not a negative. So the other term. One thing, if you will recall about secant squared, we had the derivative with respect to x of tangent was secant squared x. So that means the antiderivative of secant squared is tangent. So this would be 3 tangent x, and then finally I have my plus c. Now when you type that into uh, your answer box, make sure you put parentheses around the x to make it a functional notation so that the computer can understand what you mean.